What's up guys, my name is Jack, or the G.I. Jesus, as I am known on YouTube and on the Huppet forum. Um, I want to say hello to everyone on the Huppet community channel. Um, I'm putting up some World of Warcraft gameplay. Now, my reason for putting this up is there has been a sort of really big outcry for some non-Call of Duty gameplay to be put up on here. And I did send a message to uh, this channel a little while ago, as soon as it started up, would you like me to upload some uh, World of Warcraft gameplay? I think I probably put a longer message than that, I didn't sound like such an idiot, but... It was that sort of gist. Um, that's a funny word, gist. Um, and what they said is, yeah, we'd love it. And the thing is, I've noticed a lot on YouTube that World of Warcraft gets quite a lot of hate from Call of Duty people. Um, they say, you know, it's it's got this big image as a sort of soul sucker, and I will explain that in a bit. Um, but the thing is, I was a bit worried about putting this up because I did, you know, I didn't want to get a lot of hate. But I don't think I will. I know the uh, Huppet forum is full of quite nice people, and there aren't that many trolls. And I know the channel's probably full with some decent people, but if you don't like World of Warcraft, that's perfectly fine. Just don't watch, just go away. Um, if you do, leave a message, come check out my channel, like the video, say you want more of this, and I'll gladly put some more up on here. Um, but if you don't like the video, I won't be putting any more up and you won't see me again, that's fine. Um, but today, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about why World of Warcraft gets this sort of soul-sucking um, opinion of itself. Um, the reason why World of Warcraft gets this persona, I suppose is a good word for it, is because whereas other games have a sort of limited lifespan, even if they are multiplayer, for example a single player game, let's take Bioshock 1, has 10 hours of gameplay, and that's all you're going to get, and you can expand on it a little bit, but it's 10 hours the main story, and then say Bioshock 2 comes along, and that's got 7 hours of gameplay, and so that's 17 hours in the series, and that's two games you've paid for there. Now let's say you have a multiplayer game like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, because we all love to bum that game, don't we? Um, what this game has is multiplayer as well as a single player. So the single player might be five hours, and then you've got the added sort of... I don't know, how long do people play on Modern Warfare nowadays? Um, I'd say probably a few days, actually. So let's say ten days, because that's probably a nice average. So you've got ten days and seven hours, and that's, that's, that's a long lifespan, okay? Now let's look at World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is a game made of a world. It's it's the world of Warcraft. Um, and it has so many possibilities. It's not limitless, however, it does have its very far-reaching limits. There is a lot you can do in this game. And there is enough here to play. Even if you play casually, you will have 60 days game time played. And it's not, it's not all you being there. I mean, I know lots of people who just um, walk away from the computer and leave World of Warcraft on. And... The thing is, you know how on Xbox or on a um, PS3 you make friends and, you know, you talk to them a bit and they don't really get involved with you, you know, you play some um, Call of Duty, Halo with them or something, and you talk to them a bit and you play the game with them and that's it, that's where your friendship ends. On World of Warcraft, um, you sort of get to know that person's persona, you get to know them, but you get to know them through their character. So you gain like a slightly deeper friendship and I know some of you are going, what the fuck is he talking about? I'm sorry, a lot of you um, are probably thinking, wow, this is gay, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But the thing is, you gain a sort of level of understanding and you meet people who want to play games like this and it's nice, like I have some friends on World of Warcraft who I um, know quite well and I also have my in real life friends, um, IRL friends, who I'm as well good friends with. World of Warcraft will never affect my social life because I will not let it. That That is how you stop the addiction to any game. You say no and you will just walk away and that's how it works. I play roughly seven hours a week maybe and that's probably less than some of you can play on Call of Duty. I'm sorry I keep referring to Call of Duty, however I know you guys play it a lot and I also play it um, and I know it's quite a good reference of time and things like that. Um, so the reason World of Warcraft gets this big, big, big idea of it becoming such an addiction is because there are more players playing this game than any other game, I will be honest. I have never seen a game this busy. This game has, I think, 12 million players now at the moment. And if you think about that, let's say um, 2 million of those are addicted. They love this game. They fucking play it every single night they get home. They play it from 1 in the evening to 2 in the morning. And they non-stop play it. And they love it. Now, those two million, right? Somebody hears about them. Like, someone hears about them through a friend. And they go, ah, oh, that's all World of Warcraft players. 
and this sort of rumour spreads that everyone plays it, and then everyone who plays World of Warcraft gets that bad name, whereas it says 2 million, and because 2 million is roughly the size of many sort of gamer groups that play one single game, whereas World of Warcraft has this 12 million, those 10 million get undervalued to the 2 million, and I'm sorry, that probably sounds stupid, but what you have to understand is it's such a big game with so many people that it will get this image, but not everyone who plays Warcraft is like that, not everyone who plays it, enjoys it, likes listening to it, is one of those people who lives and breathes Warcraft, no, however what the people who do play Warcraft properly are, they are hardcore gamers, there's there's no question of it, they they love games, they they spend their time playing games, and I know a lot of you are probably like, I'm a gamer, I, I go around and play Call of Duty, um, I would disagree that you're not a gamer, and that's why people call um, World of Warcraft players nerds, but I think the difference is, uh, Call of Duty gets this sort of casual nature towards it, and it's sort of like, yeah, I'll play it and I'm not addicted. Whereas, uh, I have to disagree, I think people do get quite addicted to that sort of game, and I think it's probably just as bad, personally. But, uh, they're not called nerds, however, I, I am a big nerd, apparently, because I play this game. Um, but anyway, I hope this wasn't too much of a rant, I've tried to explain why it's got such a bad name, and I hope you've enjoyed the video, and... Goodbye. If you enjoy this video, please write a comment underneath and I'll I'll come and check them all and see if you guys enjoy it. Thanks. Goodbye.